Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So it it has already been two or three weeks above the new year. So by the time you are watching, you have already been into a new year, new month for more than 15 days, or in fact, even more than that. So uh, you might already have seen. You already have since you clicked it. You have already seen what this video is all about. But what the title is not telling you is one thing. Rather than consolidating, basically cramming everything into a bag, now I'm trying to refine my bag so that everything that is inside the bag is intentional. So I'm intentional with all the equipments. So I'm trying to shed off the weight, excessive weight that I used to carry. So in the process of doing that and in process of acquiring uh, a new, new stuff for my camera kit, uh, so yeah, this is video. This video is all about that, and I will try to make it as concise as possible, so that you don't have to wait here for a longer period of time, hearing me what I am doing with the camera, which is obvious. So let's start with something that is really important because that is the thing that will hold your gear and basically prevent it from falling or getting stolen, right? So we are starting with the camera bag that basically holds everything. This is this camera bag has been out for more than two years. It's Low Pro 450 AW version two. Uh, there's a version uh, one as well, but I opted for the version two because they have improved the zippers and stuff like that. So uh, this is basically this is around what 18 18 liters of bag. And this camera bag can hold up to two uh, pro bodies with some lenses and some knickknacks. So everything over here has a place for it. So the only problem with the bag like this is this. When I have to open this, I have to go like this. So I might change the bag, but as of now, uh, this will do because it is able to hold everything that I throw at it. So this is how I lay this camera bag. I hope you can see it. See. Yeah, so so my uh, both of both my camera bodies go in there. The 77D with the telephoto lens goes onto it. And the lens that I'm using right now is 55, uh, 18 to 55 with a variable aperture, which I strictly use for recording these kind of videos. Why I'm using 77D is because I didn't want to do color grading for these kind of a talk, talking head videos. So this is why. So 77D with telephoto lens goes in there, detached, obviously. Uh, my drone goes in there, my uh, Sony A7 IV with Samyang 24 to 70, which for which the review will be out soon. So that goes in here as well. So, and there are a couple of things that I've changed. My drone, my memory card and stuff like that. All of them, all these things have a designated place in this camera. So yeah this is it so before i throw this bag onto the shelf over shelf clip whatever that is clip basically the hanger before i throw that onto that uh there are a couple of things that i carry with me uh those are that are that is something that i usually keep over here my airpods headphones charger they are always over here but this time around uh, i usually find myself carrying this multi-tool uh, and this is something that I use to tighten the GoPro, uh, GoPro, GoPro knobs and this jack, lightning to 3.5mm jack. So this is the only thing that I carry besides my wallet over here. And in this side, I highly doubt there is something, but yeah, so cleaning cloth just to wipe off the camera and everything and the lenses because you need to keep your stuff tidy. So let's start with something that I am always interested in knowing what other is care, other person is carrying. So let's start with cameras. Though. So the first one is this one, the Sony A7 IV. It is the newest one. In case of a hybrid shooter, this is the newest line. So what they have right now. So Sony A7 IV, I switched to this camera uh, a year back. This is the camera that I usually shoot everything uh, regarding these, excluding these kind of headshots, talking headshots. 
everything that the vlogs or anything the video that has to deal with the dynamic range or going out and all the photos that you see on my Instagram on my videos all the photo shoot that I do I have or I have done are by using this camera so it's only natural the next thing that I'm going to talk about is something that always stays on my a7 IV and that is this Samyang 24 to 70 f2.8 look, look at the element on it see so this is my actually the, my first time whew, uh, using a constant aperture zoom lens so the reviews for this will be out as well but generally after this video is out so after that you will be able to see how it performs uh, what are the features that it has and why I chose this lens but this one thing that I can tell you is this lens is one hefty lens so it weighs around 1.15 kg so above 1 kg trust me one of the sharpest lens that I have ever used since we are already talking about the camera and the lenses so what better time to mention the camera that basically started everything uh, this Canon 77D this was my first camera it doesn't have anything special it doesn't shoot log uh, it doesn't have uh, 10 frames per second shutter shutter speed shutter speed shooting speed for the photos yes it doesn't shoot uh, slow motion it only sh shoots uh, I think 1080p 60 so that's it nothing more nothing fancy uh, nothing to basically with what you call something that is pro I usually use it for only telephoto purposes because the lens that you saw the Samming one is not a telephoto lens so I use I pair this camera with the lens that I'm going to talk about next so this for a second my heart sank <laughs> yeah so uh, this is a lens that I usually pair this camera body with this is the Canon uh, 55 to 250 mm telephoto lens yes of course with a variable aperture yeah I usually pair this camera with this so that I don't have to basically buy a new telephoto lens so another thing that I carry in my camera bag which basically is, has become quite essential the DJI Mavic Mini 2 I and with obviously with the controller right so this is the uh, Mini 2 even though there's a limit on it 50 meters limit on it I never find found the need for increasing the height of this because 15 meters where I'm shooting from is usually enough this is something that I highly recommend and plus yes this one is registered with DGCA so I would totally suggest you to register your drone if you're planning to even though you don't need a license for it but be register that with the DGCA and be aware of where you're supposed to fly or where you are supposed not to fly we check that beforehand so now let's just talk about something that is equally important in your videos and that's your audio so the mic that I use is this the Boya uh, BY MM1 so this mic is something that uh, doesn't require batteries and you just put it in your mount and connect to the camera and it starts working uh, it doesn't have any preamps built into it you have will have to use the preamps uh, to basically to dial down the audio levels uh, from your camera so this comes with this furry mount so just to to reduce the wind noises so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is equally equally important because it is something that has to hold the weight of my camera or any camera that I'm using at that moment so this is the carbon fiber tripod from Ulenzi. it basically comes in two parts uh, the detail about this the video is always up here up here somewhere one year on the YouTube and I'm still not able to figure out where I'm supposed to point but moving on uh, yeah this comes with a mount over here it has a ball head mount uh, it basically can be arranged in any order that you want uh, the height is like this and you can further increase it if you twist it over here so yeah it goes even flatter so this is the bag that comes with the camera bag this is a small pouch uh, I have my GoPro 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 Hero 8 in it uh, with the drone battery Mavic Mini 2 battery and an official charger of the Sony so I usually charge this the Sony batteries with these these are the things that I usually keep in this pouch 
plus uh, the charger for my laptop. So talking about the batteries, uh, this is the battery pouch. Uh, this is thing from Think Tank. So it holds up to four batteries. Uh, what I carry is one is the GoPro, GoPro battery. And another is, uh, the, this is third party battery for Canon 70-70. D, And two original Z batteries for Sony because I didn't want to go uh, in a route of basically owning a third party battery because I have seen what third party does. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it works and they are inconsistent basically what I'm trying to say. So another pouch that I use or that I always keep in my camera bag is this, this pouch. This, uh, this pouch came with the older version of the bag, uh, the previous one that I had, the low pro 350 AW. This was, that was the first camera bag, that actual camera bag that I bought. So I just use this bag to keep the wires inside it. So I have uh, wires for charging the Sony camera, Type-C uh, Type-C cable uh, for my GoPro and Sa Samsung T5, I suppose, SSD. And this is, this is what I carry basically everywhere, every time, whenever I go out, so because you need to keep your stuff clean. So this is a rocket blower. Uh, and one more thing is this, this, this brush to clean my lens and camera bodies. Yeah. The thing that I'm about to show you uh, is something that I've recently start investing in and these are the memory cards. And uh, I recently bought this one, the V60 card I have the Sony uh, original one, the V61. So 128 is there. Uh, in future, I will be buying these type of memory cards more, possibly V90, uh, because I am planning to ditch my laptop in order to basically keep the weight to minimum. And I am carrying everything in a case that is randomly available, waterproof case that is randomly available on Amazon. So if you somehow get some splashes of water, it should be able to protect your card. There are a couple of knickknacks that I usually carry. Uh, these are the memory card reader. This is something, this is from Kingston. I bought it off Amazon. Uh, this is UHS-2 card reader, so which is, which tends to be really fast as compared to the, these ones. So this is a cheap one, I think it's what, 100 rupees? 180, 50, something like that. So I, the only reason I'm carrying this is because so that I can basically read the card that is in the drone so uh, another thing that i usually carry is this i know this is empty this is the knf concept uh, variable nd filter that is currently on to the on the camera so i usually carry it in the case so that nothing gets scratched up so another thing that uh, i carry is this lens cap it is 67 mm thread size uh, yeah 67 mm uh, lens cap. Uh, why I'm carrying this is so that I can put this onto the uh, what do you call it? ND filter so that everything gets covered up. So uh, the beauty and the brains of everything that basically makes everything, every footage come together are these two components that I'm going to talk simultaneously. One of them being my laptop. This is Microsoft uh, lap Surface laptop, I think four. Uh, internal memory is 128 gigs and 8 GB RAM. And this paired with this Samsung, yep, SSD, portable SSD T5. Uh, basically SSD are actually, if you're someone that is going to do videos, I would suggest use SSDs because I usually do my edits directly off the SSD. All in all, it's still going good. It lags sometimes, but I might upgrade this, but I don't know when. As soon as it gave, gives out, I might have to upgrade it. But till that happens, this is something that basically edits every video, every single video, every single photo that you see. In future, there are certain things that I will be adding to this. Soon, I will be adding certain microphones to it. Uh, Sony's, the wireless one, I might be adding it. But uh, if that, when that happens, I will update you. Other than that, these are the things that I carry. If you like what I'm doing, Please consider liking, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you get notified. And for those who are joining me for or us for the first time, this friends and community, uh, 
uh, if you are joining for the or seeing this video uh, for the first time this is Abhinav I do a video about travel which I aspire to travel more this year uh, I do travel reviews or vlogs b-rolls and stuff like that photos obviously photos I miss the photos so I do these things and if it's, this is something that is down your alley you might want to subscribe so everything said and done happy new year's it, even though it's a bit late for that but take care of yourself see you soon and bye bye